Hi, five day challenger. Just made some chocolate. So if you missed that little video, then be sure to go back and find it. But this episode here, I'm with you to talk about how we get ourselves from the bottom of our list of priorities to much more to the top. And also in the process, get us back because I have been getting a lot of emails and messages. This is a big thing that is getting in a lot of our ways, which is the fact that we are not making ourselves a priority and maybe we've had kids or got so involved in our work and we've forgotten who we are. We've forgotten the things that make us feel good. We've forgotten that we're supposed to do things for us. We forgot that we need to put our oxygen mask on first before assisting others. And if you just take a second to have a think about that analogy, it was something that my doctor told me when I went and saw her when she told me I had postnatal depression. And the idea of when you think about it, of course you have to put your oxygen mask on first or everything else around you is not going to survive. You're not going to be able to then be able to help anyone else. So take a minute and think about that analogy and what that means to you. Then what I'm gonna get you to do is a really practical exercise to help you connect back to yourself, to help look at the little steps that you can take to bring up your self-worth, bring yourself up your list of priorities and bring yourself back as well. So, here are the things that you are gonna give yourself a score out of 10. Zero is the least feelings of, um, of happiness or fulfillment or that you're doing well in that area. And then 10 is that you is the most. Okay, I'm just gonna read these out to you. And I've got this exercise in my book as well. So the first one is physical health. You wanna write that down. What would you score your physical health? How you are, uh, feeling just physically in your body, how much you are giving back to your physical health, zero to 10, go. Mental health, how you're feeling up in your mind here, what's going on with that, how much you are giving to yourself, how much you're focusing on that, if you zero to 10 there. Family, Friendships, let's do that in two separate ones, I reckon. So go on, or if, if you don't have the, your family sort of not um, such an important part, don't worry about that. You could do friendships, one or the other, or do both. So family, where you're at there, how you're feeling about that, zero to 10. Friendships or social life. And then love. So let's do this, your love, partners, whether you're out seeking a partner, where you're at with that, how you're feeling about that, zero to 10. Oh, I like this one. I remember doing this one and it was very, very low. I need to look at this one at the moment. Hobbies, fun, things that you're doing that aren't work, aren't kids, aren't housework, aren't all the other things, aren't emails, aren't social media. Hobbies and fun. Do you have any? <laughs> Zero to 10, it's cool if you're low. I know all about that. Personal growth, so this is how much you're giving back to yourself in terms of maybe that is reading, maybe that is listening to podcasts, studying. How are you growing yourself in a personal way? Spirituality, whether that is um, your religion, Christianity, whatever it is, or spirituality might also mean this mindfulness, meditation, walks along the beach, walks out in nature. So a score zero to 10 out of the spirituality of how you're feeling about that. Finances, oh, I might be a bit low with this one at the moment too. Not feeling so good in this area. Definitely need to get some work done. How are you feeling in finances? Physical environment. So maybe that is where you live. Maybe that's where you work. If you need to separate those, then do so. Score for zero out of 10. How are you feeling about that going? I'm looking around my physical environment here and it is looking quite a mess. So I'm not handling mine very well. And then career, work, purpose, volunteering, what it, it, pop it all under there, a zero to 10. Okay, once you have done that, this is the fun part. You want to have a, oh, let's just show you this little photo of me. My hubby only got the back of his head in my book. <laughs> oh, 
thing. Okay, we are not looking for balance in all of these areas. You don't need a 10 out of 10 for everyone, but what I want you to do is look at what has scored the lowest. Maybe you've got the zeros, the ones, the twos, you'll see it, and this probably doesn't surprise you. Okay, so those ones that you were scoring low in those areas, have a look at them and think about one little step that you can take to bring that score up to the next one or the next one, yeah? To bring it from a two to a three or a, you know, a five to a six, whatever it is. And what is that little step that you can do? So let's take for example, uh, you know what, I'd love to use this example that with, when it comes to your personal environment. <laughs> Like, oh, the one thing that I could do is get myself a cleaner, <laughs> but that's not possible right now. So what's one thing I could do? Okay, I need to write a list for my kids. We'll get them to write it as well and look at what their jobs are because we've gotten really slack and then you start to feel like I've got it all just myself, I'm doing it. So that is one little thing that I could do. And then for example, what was my other one that I was feeling a bit? Oh, hobbies and fun, okay. So my daughters, we've all started making scrunchies. Have I got one in? Oh yeah, I've got one underneath here. Have a look. And, um, and I love it. It, it. Look at the scrunchie. It's so cool. <laughs> so, um, so that's something that is becoming a bit of a hobby and something that I'm doing that I'm not thinking about you know, work or motherhood or wifehood. It's just something that's actually fun. It's becoming a little bit of a hobby for us. And then fun, a little thing that you can do to be more fun, is it turning on a song at night time and having a dance off every single night? You know what's really one to do is that, um, uh, what is it, let's dance? What's the little the, the thing you can do? Um, you might have like a wee box or something, but you can just get them on online, um, on YouTube, and you can follow along the dance routine. Maybe it's just dance something. And I'll, I'll find it and put the link in there. So yeah, little things like that. So maybe it is, if it's your mental health, this is a brilliant thing to do for mental health because you always want to start small because uh, big things just feel way too hard. What can you do to help you with your mental health? What's one little small step, okay? Well, let's have, have a think about one. How about, hey, every day a meditation for two minutes. Maybe it's joining up Headspace, which you can get free meditations on there. Um, what is it that makes you feel good? And looking at that little small step. So one small step, or even two, if you're feeling a little bit excited about that. And then that's what you're going to commit to for the next week, is doing that little step. If you would like to share some of these steps with me, I'd love to hear from you. It's also awesome for others to hear from you too because it's very inspiring when somebody shares in the comments and it can help inspire you. It can also give someone else ideas. Wonderful to share, but feel free just to message me privately as well with that so I can keep you accountable. Accountability is such a big key. So when you look at that, it breaks it down a little bit. So. Rather than going, oh, I'm so down the list of my priorities, I don't know what to do. Look at, at your life, break it down into segments like that, and go, okay, if I do that, that is, that is giving back to myself. I'm making a little effort, and then slowly over time, you will start to build yourself up, your list of priorities, and you'll start to feel yourself again, get yourself back, and when you do little things for yourself, don't you find that, you must do like a bit of a pat on the back, and good, good on you. You've done that for you, and you either feel that, or you feel the, the guilt, I'm so selfish, I shouldn't be doing anything for myself. That's when I need you to go, oxygen mask, think about what that feeling is of that oxygen mask, why it is that you need to put that oxygen mask on. It's because you can't help others for a sustainable amount of time in the way that you actually really want to unless you do. Think small, small steps. Can't wait to hear what your small steps are. Yes? Very, very good. And I'll, um, I'll see you soon, Five Day Challenger. Keep moving, yeah? Are you moving your body? Little moves every single day. Even if you get to the end of your day and you've forgotten all about it, what can you do before you go to bed? How can you get your body moving more? Because you've worked out your why, hopefully, 
you know, you've looked at what's been getting in your way, we've looked at getting rituals, routines, habits, all these little things. There's a reward chart as well, if that's gonna help you. I talked about that in the last chocolate video, but I'll pop the link down the bottom of this video too. Let me know how you are going with all of this. So good, so happy to be here with you and just fantastic that you are giving back to you and let's just start that slow little journey up the list of priorities, up the your to-do list. Yes, every day you're gonna do something from your little list, every single day. Okay, bye guys.